New Zealand is, is a small country, so it doesn't matter what you're talking about. There will always be this thing of like, oh yeah, but it's small. There's not much of, a, of an audience for, for this or for that. How does it work for dance, for dancers, for dance professionals to tap into the career it and make a living out of it? It's definitely hard in this country <clears throat> to make a living as a dancer. There's a c- couple of professional agencies who do gigs, but I'm not sure if they do it full time. Right. So teaching is really the main way. A lot of kids who want full-time careers go overseas or cruise ships or whatever they can get. Where would they go? A lot of them go to Australia. A lot of my friends have gone on to Australia. So is there, with the population obviously being a major factor, is there a larger percentage of the population that would actively go and see dancing or is it musical theatre or a combination of variety nights? Is there an audience that would go and watch a two-hour or an hour and a half's dance showcase there must be there must be but i suppose in this country it's either like the professional um performing arts like musical theater or you know new zealand ballet and things like that is there because you know there's the art for art sanks argument where kids just love dancing and it feels great you get strong yeah you get confident you have great friends and it's a great way to just pass time and you look back at your high school experience you go you know i played cricket for years I loved playing Xbox with my mates for years. It was always a social thing. Like, I'll never sit and play Xbox alone. But so I look at dancing going, those kids have had a couple of hours in afternoon every week for years. That's enough. Yep. Some just stop. But lots of my... But, but ex- the satisfaction is enough. Yep. They didn't, they didn't need to go on and aim for a career. Because you get singers that, oh. I want to be on New Zealand's Got Talent and I want to make it overseas as a touring artist. But that ambition is smaller and harder in New Zealand. Yeah. But it's always, you know, you've got these kids singing and having fun together for yeah. years. Like you said, 16 years, this is going to be your 16th Christmas show coming up. Correct. And one of them, Indaria, has been with me for 15 of them. This will be her 15th show. She is an incredible dancer. She is. Yeah, confident. Always in, in character. That's the thing I always like. I think we talked just off air before. Actually, I don't know if it was off air. We may have been on here. I'm not too sure when Probably. that happened. But the lovely idea of being in the moment in character, because I've seen, I think... I've been to five of your shows, and I think I've been to five of the school shows at Mary yep. School. She's a standout because she's always in character, and she lifts the groups together, and they all try and get into character together, yep. and it's great. 